Mongo Vipis. Yeah, so I want to talk about the antidepressant effects of today. Effexa isn't an SSRI drug, it's a SNRI drug, which means it doesn't just block your serotonin reuptake pump, it blocks your norepinephrine reuptake pump as well. Don't forget these drugs, they do not give you more serotonin or norepinephrine. They literally block the reuptake pump and they give you more in the synapse only. Hence why people get severe withdrawal and everything. I've heard so many bad things about Effexor. You really should look into Effexor before you start taking it. There's a similar drug called Symbolta. So if you were to try the two out of the two, I would try Symbolta because you're less likely to get as bad withdrawals compared to the effects. Of, even though some people would argue and say they're the same drug, and it's true, they are because they both do the same thing. But just maybe Symbolta is a little bit less harsh, so to speak. So you could always try that. But personally, I would never go on Symbolta or Effexa because when I was on Symbolta. I felt like I was actually being mind controlled or something. I just wanted to do crazy things on it. I was on it only for a week and the experience I had on it for a week was crazy. It was out of this world. It was almost like I almost felt like someone was telling me what to do. That's how mad it was. It almost felt like someone was telling me do this, do that. I felt like a robot. I felt like you just you felt you you were thinking of crazy things like, oh well I just go out and if I jump in the sea no one will care, and you wouldn't even think twice about it. you would just actually go and do it. You wouldn't even you wouldn't even think oh okay if I do that then I'm not gonna live anymore. You wouldn't even be aware of that. You just yeah it's just one of them drugs I'd honestly keep away from, and especially if you mix it with alcohol. Damn. <laughs> you're gonna know about it so but but on the positive side of it there probably are a load of people who are actually on it and they're like what's this guy talking about I don't get any of that effects or whatever he's saying he's he's just dramatizing and all that no that's just my experience on it everyone else I mean you can even look around on YouTube you see how many people say effects are withdrawal it's just it's up there it's quite high you know, so I mean, another question what people have to ask themselves is, is why am I going? If it's your first drug that you've ever done, when I mean drug, I don't mean ecstasy, I mean an antidepressant. If it is your first antidepressant, then you have to ask yourself, why am I going for a SNRI? Why am I not going for an SSRI? Because, like I said in my previous video, Lexapro is the lightest drug of them all and then maybe perhaps if that didn't work you could try maybe a similar drug to Lexapro maybe just that Lexapro one isn't working for you but I want to stick to SNRIs on this video because I don't want to go back to SSRIs but in the SNRIs it's a more of a complicated because like I said you're not just blocking your serotonin reuptake pump you're blocking the norepinephrine so that in itself is giving you an adrenal adrenaline kick hence why some people are just crazy on it or they, they can't sleep or they're just going out of their mind because of that adrenaline kick and they might notice their heart is beating faster or things like that that's all part of it it's basically like if literally an SSRI hasn't worked for you they're thinking damn your depression must be a lot severe than others so then they go ahead and they say okay we'll do a cocktail because that's what it basically is it's like giving someone um, imagine you gave some, uh, an addict cocaine and ecstasy that's what you're basically doing it's like mixing so you're mixing the serotonin which is your ecstasy so to speak and the cocaine is the norepinephrine in that drug so it's just combining two drugs together to give you that same effect the problem is with some people is after a while they just they just build up this tolerance and they have to take more and more and keep going high and high and it's all right keep going high and high but the problem is is when you want to get off it it's uh it's like 
jumping off a mountain or something, you know. So that's the experience I wanted to share. Among the